I am Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net where you'll find over 300 articles on medical preparedness for any disaster. I'm also the co-author of the Amazon bestseller in survival skills, The Survival Medicine Handbook, our medical guide for when the rescue helicopters are not on the way. We're in beautiful Gatlinburg, Tennessee, hiking in the Great Smoky National Park and we are seeing the fall colors. They are beautiful and keeping warm by the fire in the birdhouse in here at Ski Mountain. We left our African gray parrot, TD Bird, and that other guy you see in our videos. Back in South Florida, they just don't appreciate cold weather like we do. You know, I spend a lot of time talking about how to obtain important medications like antibiotics for survival situations. I do this because I don't want people dying in a long-term off-grid scenario from infections that could occur from simple injuries that are part and parcel of chopping wood and other activities of daily survival. Even though antibiotics are a useful addition to your medical storage, it's important to understand that you will not want to indiscriminately use antibiotics for every minor ailment that comes along. In a collapse, the medic is also the quartermaster. You'll want to wisely dispense that limited and, yes, precious supply of life-saving drugs. You have to walk a fine line between observant patient management, which is doing nothing and watching, and aggressive management, which is doing everything, which is sometimes too much. Most antibiotics in this country are actually given to livestock, not because they're ill, but because they grow a little faster if it's in their feed, and therefore they get to market a little bit faster. This terrible practice has caused a number of resistant infections. One infection in turkeys with a bacteria called salmonella caused 100 people to wind up in the hospital, one death and the recall of 36 million pounds of turkey in 2011. Antibiotics are overused by physicians on humans as well. This is sometimes related to pressure from patients for a doctor to do something. Surveys recently showed that patients were more satisfied with their doctor if they left with a prescription after the visit. U.S. doctors are prescribing enough antibiotics to give four out of five Americans antibiotics every year. They've been commonly available since the 1940s. Certainly they've done wonders at saving patients for all sorts of infections. But bacteria have increasingly gained the power to shrug off antibiotics. A recent study showed the most frequently prescribed antibiotic was azithromycin, a z -pack, in other words, which is commonly used for bronchitis symptoms. This is an issue because bronchitis is usually caused by a virus, and antibiotics like azithromycin don't work against viruses. Liberal use of antibiotics is a poor strategy for a few reasons. As I mentioned, overuse can foster the spread of resistant bacteria. New strains can develop that are not sensitive to current antibiotics. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is tracking at least 20 strains of resistant bacteria at the present time. Antibiotic research is not particularly profitable, by the way, compared to some other drugs. Few new antibiotics are coming down the pike, so this is another big issue. Potential allergic reactions may occur that could lead to anaphylactic shock, which we've talked about in other videos. Making a diagnosis could also be made more difficult if you give antibiotics before you're sure what medical problem you're dealing with. This may mask the condition. In other words, symptoms could be temporarily improved that would have helped you know what disease your patient actually has. This costs you valuable time in determining what the actually correct treatment really should be. You, the survival medic, can see that the judicious use of antibiotics under your close supervision is necessary to fully utilize their benefits. The survival medic is the medical quartermaster of the survival group. Discourage your group members from using precious supplies unnecessarily and without first consulting you. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old country doctor, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks so much.